everyone, Trinity Havoc here. I'm standing here with two of the members of Ashes to Angels. I'm here with Creeley and Nico. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Yeah, hungry. You doing good? <laughs> and hungry. <laughs> and hungry. <laughs> uh, you missed all the pizza. The Kiss and Candace guys had pizza in their van. <laughs> so, how's the been going so far for you guys here in the state? Pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good time. It is excellent. It's way better than the first tour anyway it should be. This should be awful. We should be broken. Our band should split up by now, to be honest. Well, why do you say that? Because we've done a lot of touring and we know how bad it's going to be when we start out something new. So this has actually been fucking excellent. Thanks, Will. You hooked us up on this one. I owe you one. <laughs> Don't you already have that cashed in for the British tour? Second tour I booked it. And he owes me one. <laughs> <laughs> We'll look after him. Okay. I'm sure he's not scared about that at all. He is. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're the only men he fears. That's saying something. <laughs> 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 so, question, what got you guys into wanting to pursue music as a career and what something you wanted to do? It pursued me. It pursued you? Yeah, we're trying to get away, but... Uh, boys, well, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he's got caught up alongside with me in too deep now. We can't do anything else. If you stop running, we'll die. If you stop swimming, we'll drown. See? Yeah. <laughs> We've been prepared for everything, so it's okay. Yeah. Who prepared you? Who told you? <laughs> I pretended to be you for an entire day. <laughs> yeah. So I do. Does it help you? It doesn't help me. I think it's pretty fun. Right. I just run around like a sugar high maniac all the time. I think, to be slightly serious, um, if you want to be in a band, you really got to go out and be doing it for the entire time. If you want to make it your full-time thing, it's not like your job, it's just your life. And, uh, this is all I can do, all I want to do. Yeah, like everything else. <laughs> How many shitty office jobs I've had? So many. I always have to quit. Now, we're in America. Now we're in bases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sums it up. <laughs> so how has the tour dates been different from what you're used to in the UK and here in the US and all the shows now? Venues are better. Cheaper uh, cigarettes are cheaper. That's nothing to do with shows. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, venues are better, PA systems, dressing rooms, showers. Uh, on stage more. So. Yeah, they let you in early. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a different, completely different caliber. Like, in England there's a couple of big companies that run everything, like the O2 and shit like that you're playing it there. Corporate, soul-sucking, evil, money-grabbing, artist-screwing, you create nothing level. You're uh, kind of still playing the dive bar. Love my taxi. Uh, <laughs> That's your taxi, really? Yeah. We don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere. I don't know. It's cool. Who's it's weird. Up? It's like being thrown into a tour video of a band that I loved in the past. Very strange. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, I think that might be the other way around. That's on record now. <laughs> yeah, that's on record, and he's going to see this. I hope. Maybe he doesn't have the internet. <laughs> he doesn't. He, doesn't it. he thinks it's a Let's see who gets thrown under the bus out of the four guys in your group. <laughs> five, because one's not here. Yeah, five. Right. Josh? Josh. Yeah. 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 They're both equal parts, so I'm missing both. You know, Robbie's going over there. Yeah. Wait, Josh where? Josh in your neck vagina. <laughs> um, so if you had to sacrifice one person from your group, the gods of music. Oh. It would have been. <laughs> I told that! <laughs> Do you know how difficult it is having a left-handed member? Really? Yeah. Guitars are more expensive. Who breaks a string on this tour? That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't sacrifice anything. I'll sacrifice myself. Wait, what do we get if we sacrifice ourselves? The band gets even more popular and gets more noticed and keeps going. The rock gods! All here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Question for yourself. <laughs> Grab the folder and hit him with it. Grab the folder and hit him with it. Away. What do you see you guys in five years from now? Hopefully that's back into this country. Yeah. We'll uh, smuggle you in. What uh five years? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that far ahead. No, no absolutely not. I'm up to January. So. You haven't even been in the band five years. <laughs> <laughs> fucking long that is. I'll, yeah, I think a little further ahead than those guys. Okay, what about two years? Back. Two years. I don't know, two years. We should put out another two and a half albums by then. Want to be doing at least a thousand people a night everywhere. That would be sick. Yep. Yeah, I will. We'll do the legwork for you over here. Yeah, yeah. definitely promote you guys over here. Cool. Big time. Well, that's how we jump on. Yeah. So I actually had a question from a fan for you, Creeley. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask it or do you want me to? They want to know why you're so damn sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something to do with the way I drag my feet when I walk around. The gravity boy. That's well. because <laughs> <laughs> your gravelly voiced angelness. That's years of abuse. <laughs> I don't know. Just fall out of my hammock like this. Just how it is. Not like it. <laughs> <laughs> From the hammock, it's the road seat onto the stage. What about you, Nico? Why are you so damn sexy? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens. The air up there. The air. I really. I don't really plan anything ever. <laughs> it's too much work that goes into thinking about things like that. Yeah, just like go with the flow. Indeed. I do this face a lot. <laughs> so, Nico, how long have you been playing the bass and what got you started to pick up the bass? Uh, I've been playing, I don't know, maybe 15, something like that. I've had it, just want to play music. Just love music, so simple as that. There's nothing else to it. The guitar <laughs> looks really small on him. Yeah, he's got to get that. He needs to be bigger. Like a half <laughs> or stand up bass. Yeah. Yeah. One day. Yeah. We go. Yeah. <laughs> what about you with singing? What got you into wanting to sing and write the lyrics you write? Yeah. And write? Yeah, very fucking good. That's the thing, because I was terrible. I was really, really awful. Uh, I think people being like, you know, you should really just write songs for other people. That really spurred me into singing more. <laughs> <laughs> fucking show them. Um, it just made sense to me. I, I write the words. I go put them out somewhere. I'm not a poet. I shout. <laughs> I'm expressing myself. But the fans love you music still means something to them. They take something Fucking hope back so. from <laughs> They take something really back from your music. That's lucky because I don't want it anymore. Everything <laughs> I write is because I want it out. <laughs> <laughs> if that helps, that's excellent. Yeah. If it makes it worse, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had fans actually come to you and say that your music, you've got to save their lives? Yeah. 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 How does that make you guys feel, especially with that whole controversy that's going on about people yeah. saying that bands save their lives nowadays? I think sometimes it's just a compliment, sometimes it's a bullshit, sometimes you're looking at me like, you actually mean that. Yeah. Well, I like to yeah, remind them, person, really. yeah, you can tell, also, like, pretty awkward with compliments, to be honest, and then, uh, what I wanted to realize is that we didn't actually do anything with the soundtrack, and it inspired them, or showed them that actually, weird man child who also has feelings then it's great <laughs> it's humbling uh, I don't ever really know what to say I'm just happy that it's still here so it's got to be a good thing right yes definitely is there any like creative differences in the band or anything that does make you guys butt heads occasionally when working on albums sometimes they just can't learn 15 songs in one day like I need them to yeah. <laughs> Jim's here Jim's, yeah. Jim's right there Jim yeah, this side <laughs> come around. Hi. Come around. <laughs> Bye. All the drama. All the drama. In the view. In the view. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Do you want my phone to call it? Uh, it's run out of battery. Um, oh, no. That's maybe. right. No, I've seen three times. Three. Jim's here now. No, we don't. We just. Get on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this movie film? Not yes. Film. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, we're doing an interview. Which well. is why we didn't get the depth to the river. Who was in the river? The Delaware? 
No, I did it back in New York. Oh. <laughs> That's not good. That's not nice. Terrible combination, but it's really helping me. At well, least it's helping him. Yep. So, for those that have tattoos, which one is your favorite you've got so far? <laughs> <laughs> Do you draw those on every morning then? Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, my favorite tattoo, I think, would probably be either my true romance one or maybe this tree with a balloon, which uh, currently I have a spot on, which is. Hold on, hold on. Put your arm back out so I can get a zoom in on yeah, that. Look at that. <laughs> uh, it'd be a bad day. I was like, should we ever do a noose? I'm like, nah. I don't believe. Can't be sad with it. Once I got this new grave, grave. I don't know. I like tattoos. I like how permanent they are when they're showing just like the one moment you felt like having that particular thing. <laughs> Billy Bones says they don't hurt. They do. <laughs> yeah, probably, no, no, that was purple. Probably your favorite color other than black. I've, there is nothing other than black. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his soul. There's nothing else. There's also no soul. Oh, hey, look, we've got another one. Oh, look. Hello, we're closer. Sweet. Oh, we got the crack rock. <laughs> this is one, on camera. I've only one toothbrush. Right, I'm first. I'm second. I'm not going <laughs> third. <laughs> Who's this from? A bag. I can't remember their name. What a bastard. What's this bag for? Nice man, to strangle somebody with. It's for hot bag. To asphyxiate. This is warming a rectal exam on a cow. <laughs> oh, I get it. To be in a see through ghost. <laughs> oh shit, we need to remember to cover our faces with duct tape. Okay, we're gonna put in this suit. Okay. <laughs> Where are we? Oh yeah, tattoos. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Jim's got a favorite tattoo for sure. <laughs> Show us. There we are, everyone. <laughs> the best tattoo you've ever seen. <laughs> Can you tell who is who? Um, oh, God in heaven. <laughs> Two of them are in the band anymore, she might have trouble. Wow. <laughs> um, You're in my light. Yeah, I mean, if we need we need there more go. light for this. There you go. <laughs> oh, God. I fully appreciate the subtleties. The nuances. <laughs> nuances. See that line works. <laughs> That's beautiful. Like when you had a little fringe going on, and a point to your chin. <laughs> <laughs> a point to your chin. Yeah. I'm checking the day sheet to make sure that we're going to be playing. Seven forty-five, we're on. No one should be playing now, actually. What the fuck's happening? Oh, it could be a sound check. Yeah. Yeah. To check the sound. <laughs> God. <laughs> now we just need fuzzy head. Yeah. Right. Rob. Oh, he's probably off being a scoundrel. Well, he promised to be in the interview with you, so we're going to have to beat him up later. Yeah. He's just being rogue. True. Very, very true. Like a fairy. He's about doing what he does. Are you calling Rob gay? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Not after what I've seen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. Nope, nope, I don't nope. the stories. No. We're good. Okay. So, when preparing for a show, who takes the longest out of the four of you to get ready? Yeah, I was, I was born ready. Probably me, to be honest. <laughs> called it. Called it. <laughs> she called it again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you guys had any uh, challenges that made it seem like it might be too tough to get over those obstacles? Yeah, the visa application. US Embassy kept our passports until the day before the Black Bell show. <laughs> Yeah, we I saw the video for that. Yeah, that's the biggest challenge we've ever overcome. I felt helpless then, but apart from that, everything else you just got to have a plan and grind it out. In fact, not even a plan. In fact, <laughs> don't do anything. Just show up. Fly Ooh. by the seat of your pants. Huh? It's no, American expression. Either. I'll take those off. Right now. <laughs> Everybody. Hey. Not you. <laughs> I'll keep my pants on. I have some pretty ugly tattoos. No. Mine's worse. I don't believe you. Take them off. <laughs> You're barbed wire. No, it's actually supposed to be a rosary. Thank you. I don't have my contact lens in, so I can't actually see it. Thank you for proving my point that it's supposed to be a rosary. Look, hang on. Yeah, it's Let not me a rosary, but from over here, all I see is blood. The bottom part has a tag on it that says my great-grandmother's name. It's spelled wrong. Oh, shit. That's on you. Hey. No, that's on my tattoo artist. But they're just drawing it. This is an outrage. You should fire them. 
I did. Yeah. And I got my money back because I threatened to sue. <laughs> I, Sorry, threaten to sue. I don't know who I would sue. <laughs> and then I have this, uh, this. <laughs> When words fail, no, music speaks. Speak. Okay. That's cool. I also can't read, so... You're really fine Illiterate? Losing, you're fine to lose a battle with me. <laughs> Illiterate. So what is it Lex in Spanish? Lexicon. 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 What has it been like touring with Aiden and Kiss and Candace so far? Oops. Uh, Oop. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome. Oh, let's yeah. not get in trouble. How <laughs> fucking good those bands are. They're exceptional. Especially William, right? Oop. <laughs> I love him. I don't know, yesterday I spent a lot of time just watching Ian Magnum and Williams just fucking shred on the guitar. Clean it up. So good. <laughs> Plus his power stance is just... I can't even do... I'm not going to try. I can't do it justice. He's so good. Plus I don't think your tight pants them. will allow for you to do so. Well, this kid... These are... I hate these jeans. Should have asked for jeans too. We do. We figure it out. Where one is the dress? <laughs> so I got some this or that for you guys. Uh -oh. Yes, <coughs> this one should be interesting. Maybe. Yeah, I might make Oh God, this is gonna be bad then. There's <laughs> <laughs> four of us, so we can do both. Well, wait. Let's ask the other two who they'd sacrifice to the gods of music. Oh, yes, we asked these two, so we're gonna ask you two now. If you had to sacrifice one band member to the gods of music, who would it be? And why? Because of how noble ours was. And why? <laughs> Can we sacrifice each other or do we sacrifice ourselves? I'm not saying no comment. See, I, you're clearly just going to sacrifice me. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly thought about it <laughs> because of your left handedness. But at the end, we decided that uh, we just weren't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> got that close in there. I'd kill the gods of music and take their power. They weren't, we weren't getting a good enough return out of our. That's answer. actually a really good answer. Yeah. That's yeah. an unexpected answer. I have to hit him with my fucking Same. five iron that's been blessed. Or just eat your axe. Oh, yeah, that's also been blessed. He said to cut the priest and now it's magic. <laughs> no, <you're not>. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Save him back. No, no. Didn't say much after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that was interesting. <laughs> him glaring at the camera. Yep. <laughs> He's giving it his sex face. <laughs> Can handle my sex. <laughs> oh my god, Jim! <laughs> the camera will catch on fire. <laughs> it might melt our faces off. Then you'd be ahead of the curve. It's like an upside down gremlin. We could probably hang him upside down. He's the one of the only ones I haven't picked up yet, other than Jim. The right way round up. So I asked him last you guys really quick. Like, you played the drums. What got you into playing the drums? Uh, I had a drum kit in my house because my drummer friend would come over and we'd have a band practice and play guitar and I was like, I'll have a little go. So that there were no other drummers around, so it was really easy to get in the band. <laughs> my name is Jim, <laughs> and I like to play the drums. <laughs> and I like to play the drums. Uh, what do you bring? Drums, I hit stuff. What would what be lacking left? <laughs> it must be like a stress reliever. Uh, there would be no drum. There would be no drum. That's why he's so quiet, it is a good st stress relief. Because he's sober. <laughs> you wait. Curly keeps blocking Adam from view. Yep. <laughs> Every day of his life. Oh, Adam. Oh. <laughs> Stay. You better to be eclipsed by than me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him why you started doing something. Uh, yes. Playing the guitar, correct? Necessity. necessity. Kind of boring being sat in the countryside all alone. So I thought I'd play guitar. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> so have, since all of you got here, how did you get the name Ashes Angels? Uh, it's a David Bowie song, just about. Although none of them are actually there when it happened. 
I'm not even sure if he was born when his parents died. <laughs> How old are you? Really? Wow. He's okay. just a baby. He's a baby. He's younger than me. He's, He's older than me by probably a few months. When was your birthday? Yeah, you're older than me for, by a few months. I turned 23 this month. How old are you? 28. No. Still, still haven't written Sing the Sorrows, so but I failed on the habit. I want ID. I want proof. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Adam? How old are you, Adam? 24. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that picture. Look at that beautiful picture. He's actually the oldest one. I would not guess that. How the hell? Wait, where's your birthday on this? Is this it? Eighth of August, eighty-seven. Oh my God, he is really that old. Here. And one year. Short. Check out the picture. Eight, eight, eighty-eight score. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you? I'm either twenty-seven or twenty-eight. <laughs> but I, I really couldn't tell you. Hundred and four. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hundred and four. Just depends how old you feel on the inside. Oh, how old? Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, sorry, PBR. I have one question. What are fans like over here compared to over in the UK? We, uh, the people that seem to really like us, uh, got like things in common. It's nice. It's built very at home. It's like, yeah, you're like us. That's cool. But you were lonely as a child. <laughs> like us. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yep, now we're the winners of the world, All right, the cool kids, the parents of the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have some fun and see what you guys like and don't like. You're not having fun? I'm already I'm having fun. I'm having tons of fun with you guys. <laughs> Sure Let's go into the jokey section, section of this. That's fine. We're just trying to upstage each other. <laughs> not me. I'll answer the question. No. It's okay with you get in the back, you get in the car. He's not going to show up and he'll be like... He can come stand next to me. I'll cuddle him. <laughs> Alright, what okay. you want? What you got? Okay. Adam's like, Adam. really, he's like, hey, let me look at the list. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> just stay back with the right, right, right. right. take one step back. <laughs> You're all actually perfectly in frame right now, except for Adam, who's hiding behind Curly again. Okay, so Apple or Android? Apple. Apple. Boxes or briefs? Boxes. No. Top or bottom? What are we doing? <laughs> That's all you get. Yeah. That's not what you get. <laughs> not with a decision like that. Have they bought me dinner first? Yes. Right. Well, there's a knife involved. No. Duct tape. Maybe. Am I happy? Am I sad? Happy. Very, very happy. Scared. I like the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm okay. Long or short? Long. No sleeves. We're not talking about sleeves. I am. Sleeves. Find my name on the title of this YouTube clip. <laughs> Long socks. <laughs> I'm going to eat. Winter or summer? Winter. Summer. 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 <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Diet Coke. Depends on the day. <laughs> Very <laughs> indecisive man. Yeah. I've made all my major decisions in my life and now everything else is just... Just go <laughs> Day or night? Night. 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 <laughs> man, that's a real good day, man. Woo! <laughs> Lover or fighter? Both. <laughs> 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 That's the choice is made for me. Romantic or thriller? Michael Jackson. <laughs> I romance to be very thrilling. You yes. can tell by my face. It should be passionate. <laughs> comedy or horror? Horror. Horror, horror comedy. Yeah. 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 Together. Comedy. Kisses or hugs? Face melting. The glass camera again. <laughs> Axe murder. Yeah. Knife crimes. <laughs> Adam's face is just priceless right now. Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs. Yeah, you have Called Krilly. What? How many cats do you have? Oh, yeah, let's go with seven. 
<laughs> Be honest, how many cats do you have? Different cats. Because they come to me. <laughs> Like the I can tell that there was none around here because otherwise they'd be on me or I'd be like. <laughs> Where would you be my friend? <laughs> you know, oh. Marvel or DC? Mm, can't you? Nah, that's particularly hard. That's absolutely impossible. Because <laughs> I have a catch your iPod. <laughs> you pay for it. But I'm going to say Dark Horse has to have an honorable mention. That's our alien. <laughs> Freddy or Jason? Alright. Oh. <laughs> are you watching all of the you know, fight or Pac-Man? <laughs> I choose Pac-Man. Freddy or Jason? Pac-Man. Yeah, you <laughs> went without a doubt. Uncle Joey. I pick Uncle Joey. Oh god. I might have to take Freddy. Freddy? Because the only Jason films were awful. But also, yeah, like, awful. Freddy's already dead. He can't really die. Yeah. As proved in Jason vs. Freddy. That's why I like that one. Freddy vs. Jason. That's a good one. I don't do horror movies. Why? See, you can't do horror movies at all. You have a bloody gutsy ball written on your t-shirt. This is a kiss and candace talk. That's appetizing. Look, I can't do horror movies, but I can act one out. Do you want to find out? Maybe. (laughs) I know this is going to be a stupid one, especially with Freely still drinking coffee, but coffee or tea? Coffee tea. Iced, iced coffee. Iced coffee. All of the coffee. Steal Robbie's Starbucks gift card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, don't actually do that. And if you say that I told you to do that, I'm going to deny every second of it. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, that's true. It's already on his phone. Where's your phone? Money or fame? Yeah, I've already got the piercings I've won. <laughs> I pretty much got pierced because I couldn't get tattooed yet. I guess that works, right? <laughs> Maybe. What was it like getting one of your albums produced by Wearing Control? I know that. Two. Two of them, yeah. Uh, one of them was like being present at your own difficult birth. <laughs> uh, and then the second one was an absolute dream. Fan question. Remember, we had a fan question. Uh, favorite and least favorite foods in the United States? Uh, White Castle was fucking shit. Yep. As was uh, in and out the. Uh, you animals. cannot compare. I'm giving that the benefit yeah. of the doubt, though. Because Have you guys tried uh, Sheets food yet? Yeah. yeah. What do you yeah. think? Pretty good. I'm it's from good the home of Sheets. It's good for an instant burrito. Yeah. Like Illegal Pete's was probably my favorite thing I've eaten so yeah. far. I thought you guys would have said Zombie Burger. Yeah, yeah, I had the mac and cheese burger. It wasn't as good as illegal pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, have you guys started working on another album now that... I can't tell you. Can't tell us? Uh-huh. No? That would make it seem like I have a plan. Very true, and you guys have a plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true, because it'll just be in your house. So what's the biggest inspiration for writing the music you have written? Just life experiences, or...? Yeah, sweet, sweet baby Lucifer. <laughs> no, <laughs> biggest influence. I don't know, I'm a fucking narcissist. Oh my god. All this shit going on. Go. Get it out. Get it out. Get out the demons. I don't know. Hey, look, Robbie's right there. Robbie. We missed most of it. Come here. We were doing an interview. Would you like to be in it? We we need to re-ask some of the questions. Um, but we're running out of time. Here, do you want do you want to trade spots and I'll ask Robbie? Everyone, it's Robbie. Lucky, it's the borrowed member of the band. Uh, am I gonna, am I gonna be in this too? Yes. Shout out to your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Freddie. Really? It's really nice to meet you. Danny. So I have to ask Robbie since he's here. What's it like touring with these guns? And I want the candy. It's, it's really, really fun. It's a completely different music, style of music than I'm used to. What I actually like. Right. No, I really, really like. I just, you know, I was never really a punk kid. You know, growing up, I was Not more of a, a more of a metal kid. But you know, it's, it's really fun playing their music and you know performing the way that we perform and for the crowds that we're performing too as well. It's all very new to me, but I love it. It's great. That's awesome. And does Freely's driving scare you here in the place? 
Not, not really actually. He actually does a really good job. Sometimes he'll get a little bit too far over the right, like get too far in the right lane. Good um, Chinese experience on the left. It's he's, not my fault. Yeah. He, he does, he does great. I'm very, I'm impressed. And I'm really happy that he is driving. I've, I've worked with scarier ones. So. Like who? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 like, not oh, you're not going to call out anybody? <laughs> we've been in several accidents when we've been on tour, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> Who was Thankfully, driving? none of them have been serious. Don't worry about it. Thankfully, none of them have been serious. Uh, but no, Curly actually does a very good job. It's fun being his co-pilot, too. Because we get to just jam to pop and country radio. Sometimes we get that Christian station going and we, we're trying to figure out if it's Christian music or shine down. <laughs> but it's not an easy game to play. Yeah, it's really not. I say we've got about 50% success rate. Yeah. That. <laughs> Ask him who he'd sacrifice. So, out of the band here, standing right here, who would you sacrifice to the music god? And why? Well, what, what do I get out of it? Like, what, what, what's... In, infinite what's fame and power. Purpose? Infinite fame and power. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't sacrifice anybody for fame or no, I don't even want that. For anything you want, say so you get your heart's desires. I wouldn't do it. What if you get to own your own personal sheets? I'd be so sad and I would never, I would never have... You'd get your own personal sheets in your backyard. I get what? Your own personal sheets in, back, in your backyard. Uh, you're the devil! <laughs> If I couldn't share it with these guys, I, I don't think it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd, 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 be, I'd, be, I'd feel so guilty. Aww, I'd be, look at the love. I'd feel All so of guilty them. while I'm eating. I only mean to sacrifice the sacrificing anyone. Couldn't do it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ask him some this or that now. Now that he yeah, finally yeah. joined us. Okay, Robbie, Apple or iPod? No, no, Apple no. or Android? Apple, obviously. Come on, guys. Where are we at here? <laughs> like, come on, uh, I want to smash it. Yeah, uh, I can't really yeah, don't do much. that. I'm just going to save my pocket at this point, then. Um, <laughs> boxers or briefs? I don't wear any underwear ever, so... Either. I can't okay. vouch for that. So we can see them. <laughs> Let us see them. See what? what? Him. <laughs> We want to actually see you. No. I'm not zooming in. Got a <laughs> Top or bottom? What were you going to top? I said I'm bottom. I'm just leaving it at that. Let your imagination run with that. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Uh, how about clothing? I, I like different tops. You know, especially in winter time, you can wear so many different accessories. And great things. Cool. Should I wear a scarf? <laughs> should I wear a scarf or should I not wear a scarf? That was a big debate the other day before we went out in New York. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure if I should wear a scarf. No scarf, but yes, jacket. Yeah, the right. Thing. We did make the right decision. I'm really yeah. proud of us. Day or night? Uh, probably. I don't know. I'm definitely like I'm a night person, but I love the daytime because I love being outside. I love playing sports and that you know, stuff. I'm not afraid of the sunlight, unlike a lot of people that might be in the sun. That's like you live in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. You're afraid of the sunlight, it's not a lot of options. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just have to hide in the closet the whole time. So. One for all of you. My Chemical Romance or Fallout Boy? My Chemical yeah. Romance. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was like, you I mean, I, I love I love Fallout Fall Boy. Fallout Boy are great. Yeah. But, I mean, Fallout Boy now. You fucking love Fallout Boy. Oh, that is awesome. I do. But well, I only really like all Fallout Boy. One of the biggest <laughs> rock bands in the world. Come show the camera. That so, one. I mean, I can't that really one. argue with that, but I, I'd probably say that. Beautiful. Uh, those. They're different bands. Yeah, they're, probably they're, probably beautiful. Beautiful. they're completely different. It's like apples yeah. to oranges. You can't really compare them. Apples <laughs> to apples. Yeah, apples to Nine Inch Nails or Metallica? Oh, that's Metallica. Metallica is what got me started playing music. Really? Oh yeah. What else got you started? What else got you started into playing guitar and everything? Uh, I just wanted to be James Hetfield. Yeah. What about keyboard? Wear my guitar really low and just say yeah and play really fast. Yeah. What about keyboard? What got you started playing keyboard? Um, I was actually in high school and I started 
even more into like songwriting and whatnot rather than just playing guitar. And there was a piano class, so I started taking that and I taught myself how to play piano and that. And I just fell in love with it. You know, it's, it's probably my favorite instrument to play now, is piano. But yeah, I, I like learning as many different instruments as possible. Definitely. I need to learn more. Uh, you learn more. <laughs> you learn more. I have an instrument that you probably could be interested in playing in. What's that? Very untraditional. It's an old Irish instrument. What? The tin whistle. Never even heard of it. <laughs> you should probably learn it then. I had to build a special one to do the Titanic theme. What, the Celine Dion Titanic theme? Oh, that's a good enough. That's a great song. <laughs> so, what is one of your guys' favorite songs to perform live? Run. Six, six, six. Chases. I wish we were playing Chases live because it's my favorite song by them. But we're not. What about by your own band, Robbie? Um. <laughs> I'd have to. Be either a song I can't talk about or. A song you can't talk about? Yeah, or, or Mirror Mirror is always fun, or Portraits is always fun. So, yeah, I love playing all of our songs too. Hard to choose. <laughs> so let's do one little project to end this out. Oh God. <laughs> she has to walk away from this apparently. We're going to make a sexy toast and Paul. Okay. Robbie's probably used to this. Probably. Probably, unfortunately. <laughs> I want all of you guys to make the most ridiculous pose together as possible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, no. Oh, come on, please, I have to no, see I, this in person. I, I quit these days. <laughs> please, I have to see this in person. No, I don't do this anymore. Because you love me, because I have a tattoo for your band on my shoulder, you should totally do this. Uh, guilt trip. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been to almost every single show you've ever played in Pennsylvania and driven to Cleveland for you twice. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So since Robbie is the uh, professional. Alright, you got the box. What am I doing? Adam, please. Are you next? No, no. Adam. It's <laughs> actually funny. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they don't Robbie. die. I know, I'm pretty cool. Robbie, you. Robbie, teabag them. It's actually cute. Look at Nico. Nico's all shy. Nico's like, I'm just going to stay here. Got it, Jim. There's the mushroom that I can take this. I'll do push ups. You're good. I got it. We got it. We got it. You're good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that like really just a box of Joe? Yeah, we got Danny, you're in the shot. Oh, I thought you guys were done. I'm sorry. Are we we gonna end this out? Yes, we're gonna end this out. Thank you guys for letting us have this uh, chance to interview you. Tell us about you guys tonight. It's okay. Thank you for bringing this. What's one thing you guys want to tell your fans real quick? Yeah. Uh, which fans? The American fans. Both. We miss you. We'll see you really soon. Someday everything you love will disappear. <laughs> you, have a, you have a new tour to announce. Let's talk about yeah, the new tour. Ahead, we have yeah. announced it? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Exclusive. Yeah, let's talk about it. We're coming home. We're bringing Aiden. That's good. <laughs> I'm not coming unless he decides he wants to bring me. Aww. Beat Josh in the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he could. I probably won't be there, unfortunately. Oh, I have. love you guys. You're going to have a busy January. I feel like Anything you want to tell the fans a farewell, Robbie? Um. Stick around because you got some cool, cool, cool stuff on the way that lying. I really can't talk lying. about. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very top secret, confidential stuff. But well, pick everybody, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's not even. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. But thank you guys. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Shout out to them. I hope they're both doing well. Ring a ding 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 ding. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys once again. Can't wait to see you guys perform live tonight. Awesome. Yeah. We're not going to play live. No, uh, we're just going to stand there. And I definitely might. I have like a recorder I'll going. probably just play everything. Yeah. That's what we usually I'm going to play everything like, backwards. They don't even come on stage. Anyway, so. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody's running away. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>